Jet 227, we're in an uncontrolled dive. We got a jam stabilizer or something. Oh, Lord, we're coming out of 7,000. I see nothing but houses. When I say I want you to retract the flaps, retract the gear, trim us nose down, okay? Trim down? What are you going to do? Margaret, yeah. when I tell you I want you to push these forward, full throttle, can you do that? Yeah. Okay. okay, when I tell wait, you... Wait, wait, sir, what are we doing? Why would I trim down? We're going to roll it, okay? What, what do you mean, roll it? we got to do something to stop this dive. Here we go. I've got control. Oh, Lord! All right, Evans, flaps. Flat. Speed brakes. Speed brakes. JD? Yeah, no, JD. Okay, yeah. He just came home. He just came oh, home, yeah. All right, well, you... I said that like he was in the penitentiary. <laughs> yeah, he just came home. He yeah, just got back. Yeah, right? he's just he was <laughs> upstate. He's full. <laughs> You've been in some of my favorite movies and played some of my favorite characters. I could list them, you know, from Malcolm X to Remember the Titans. I could keep going. But this this movie, is it seems like it's a great challenge. I mean, playing an addict with, with all this heroism that's going on. How do you think this, you know, is this more difficult or less difficult than any other character you've played? Um, I don't, you know, each film, each role has its challenges. Uh, you know, like in Malcolm X, it was the fear of what might happen to us if we don't get it right. <laughs> you know, that was always <laughs> hovering over our head. Um, this might be one of the mo more, I want to say most, but more complex characters I played. I mean, he's a, he's a hero, he's a fight, he's a pilot, he's a drunk, he's a cokehead, and he's, you know, he's lost. Right. He's lost, and, uh, you know, he's lost his family, he's, you know, so. It's, yeah. You know, you know I, I guess everybody can relate to the, the story in some way. I mean, I'm, I'm the son of an addict, the brother of an addict, and right. I've got family members, and right. I'm sure the viewers do too. Right. Uh, how how relatable do you think these characters are? Because I mean, you have the family members like your son that's dealing with it, and, and right. it seems like when there's an addict in the family, everybody's kind of strung out in some way on it. Right, know? and and I think that the writer did a really great job of 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 showing that how it hurts how it hurts everybody, and as and it's interesting that as he's on the run and you know he's being just found out as to what the problems are. He decides to drink some more and go to his ex-wife's house. The, <laughs> the worst thing, that, but isn't that what happens? Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens, and you know his son's becoming a young man now, and now now you got this this bumping heads. You know, one of my favorite little pieces of that scene is ki kissing the boy on the head. You yeah. know, because I actually didn't. I told him that I said, "Look, don't punch me." I said, "But we're gonna wrestle." And, but you're not gonna know when it's coming. Yes, you come downstairs and you know, and you be a man and you play it the way you want. And I'm just gonna grab you and right. we'll just wrestle, you know. And and right. the, the man is in the house, whips in the house, 17 seconds yeah. and creates chaos, you know, yeah. and gets everybody upset. But yet he, when he walks out the house, he's like, hey, hold on, I'll leave. You know, what's wrong with you guys? Like that denial is deep, man. He thinks. They got a problem. Like, what? The, what did I do? Right. You know. And then comes outside, and the press is sitting there. Right. Yeah. It's. Now, I know that you're 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 a great actor. You've been got a lot of awards and everything, and and you're African American. But I know that's not just a, a box you're in. But for our community, you represent a lot, and the characters that you play seem to be positive, even if flawed. How conscious a decision do you make to play these these characters that you that you've taken on? Well, I. I I try to decide to do what I want to do. Now, there, there might be a lot of people in the African American community that don't like this character, but they better not act like that person doesn't exist. Because, like you said, they right there in the house, or they up the block, or they Uncle Boo Boo, or they, you know, mm -hmm. we all know somebody like this. So, it, it, you know, alcoholism is colorblind, addiction is colorblind. So. Right. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure. My man. My man. Don't forget to click on one of the arrows to see our most commented videos. Good cop, bad cop, right, right here. Well, I was going to say, how's the foot? Uh, my, I'm good. My foot is, you see what I'm wearing, right? So, they must be okay. Okay, they must be okay. Because <laughs> everybody talked about the foot with this production. It's like the foot, the foot, the most Literally. famous foot ever.